Hello and welcome to My Security TV. My name is Chris Cubbage and we're filming in Sydney. I'm joined by Mr Colin Chapman, the Vice President for Asia Pacific for Strat4. Colin, thanks for joining us. Good morning. Uh, Colin, Strat4 is a global geopolitical analysis company uh, that does all sorts of interesting activities uh, on geopolitical activity. And we were just talking about the Asia Pacific, a hotspot uh, for uh, geopolitical activity throughout. Your, your take on it as Vice President for Asia Pacific? Yeah, that sounds a bit of a mouthful, that title. But what we're looking at is what's going to happen and what's worrying in that area. Where are the security hotspots? Where are the risks? And there are a lot of them. North, South China Sea, East China Sea, the Taiwan Straits, the Philippines, a bit of terrorism activity there. India versus China, India and Pakistan, of course, and that's just the start. And we also see the Chinese taking positions in all the islands of the South Pacific, you know, Vanuatu. A friend of mine came back from there yesterday and said so many Chinese there, Fiji, uh, Papua New Guinea, and so on. So um, it's, it's a fairly, uh, it's a stable area, but the potential for instability is great. And so what Stratford does is really try and tease out what's really going on in this great important area of the world, an area of the world where, as we know, China is going to overtake the United States as an economic force within somewhere between five and fifty. So. Yes, I mean, it already is ahead in some figure, in some areas. This isn't to downplay the importance of the United States. The United States is not going to suddenly um, shrivel up and go away. It's going to come back into the Pacific in a big way. And the client profiles for Strat4, uh, the intelligence and the analysis that you guys uh, do, the work that you actually do, uh, what type of client profiles uh, take interest in that? Well, they're very varied. It's quite interesting. You might think that they're all spooks, but of course they're not. Um, they're people who are in senior, decisive uh, positions at big companies, opinion formers and movers and shakers. They are investors, big investors. Uh, they are it, private individuals. They're people who work in defence institutes and uh, defence ministries. They're military people and they're ordinary private individuals. There's no bar on anyone buying a subscription to Stratfor. Um, our founder, George Friedman, um, founded it because he said, well, governments no longer all own airlines, why should, why should governments all own intelligence companies? So we set up Stratfor and we analyse uh, what's going in the world, but always looking towards the future and what's going to happen. Colin, we've got a couple of articles, uh, analysis papers that we've published in the Australian Security Magazine for this next edition, uh, particularly on the Washington, China and Australian uh, relationships and how uh, they certainly going to influence the region over the next decade uh, as, as these major uh, alliances are, and, uh, and issues are sorted out. So thanks very much for coming on. How can people get hold of uh, more information on Strat4? Um, log on to the web, very easy, www.strat4.com. At the moment our content is free. Um, if this won't last for much longer, um, you'll have to pay for it. But it's not a huge sum. It's less than the uh, price of a cup of coffee a day. Colin, uh, Strat4 is recognised uh, around the world as a, a leader in, in global geopolitical analysis. So well done on being Vice President for Asia Pacific. I'm sure it's very challenging. And uh, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you.